Hello everyone, it's Dalk here and today we have a very fun unboxing. So this is actually a newer release by MGA. It's called Yummy Land. Uh, I don't think it's Yumi Land, but for some reason I pronounce it like that. Anyways, I think it's Yummy Land. There's actually a line before this. The original Yummy Land were like in little bottles and it was the dolls were based on like various scents and they were actually scented. So there was like soda ones, like vanilla, um, various scents, and then they had a pet that was scented as well. And you could put them in the bottle and it was just cool. Like it was like a soda pop bottle. So this is like the revamp of that, the 2024 version. And it also has Num Noms featured in it, which is another MGA line. Uh, I think it was started in like 2015 around then and it had various play aspects like it had scents, um, there was some slime stuff involved with it, uh, there was like charms and stuff you could find in the slime. There was like various different things but they also had lip gloss. And uh, yeah, so this is really cool. This is like an ode to previous dolls. Well, I guess Yummy Land in itself is a previous doll line and this is like the revamp which some people weren't feeling this revamp because it's not really faithful to the original Yummy Land, but I actually like this art style. Like, I, I like this style. It reminds me a lot of LOLs. In a way, I mean, the eyes aren't super similar, but it's got that same cutesy look, right? That's not, like, super realistic. And I just think they're really cute. And um, these are the bigger dolls. So the one I have here is Piper Peach. As you can see, the little tag right here it says Piper Peach, uh, lip gloss power. So this is like, I think this is supposed to look like her smaller doll because she does have a smaller version. There are five in the smaller version that come with like a little lip gloss. I think it's already made. I think there's a few play aspects to that one too, but it's like a liquid lip gloss. This one here is more of a solid lip gloss from what I can tell, but we're gonna go into that in a second. We've got Greta Grape, Rory Blueberry, Callie Birthday Cake, Bianca Bubblegum, and then Piper Peach. Piper Peach is definitely my favorite character, but when the smaller ones are released, which they aren't yet to me at least, um, you can buy all of these off of the MGA uh, toy website, but it, only if you live in the US. If you live outside of the US, you can't get it. Fortunately, this became available on Amazon um, Canada. The other listings for the bigger dolls got taken down, but Piper Peach is still up, so uh, her price got a little inflated though, but it's not too, too bad right now. Anyways, like I was saying, the smaller dolls aren't released yet on Amazon Canada. I keep looking because I do want the smaller ones. I definitely want Greta Grape. Bianca Bubblegum, and they don't show her on here, um, but there's also a watermelon one. I don't remember her name, but these are, well, these ones are the bigger dolls you can get. I don't believe there's Greta Grape, so it's funny how they're missing the watermelon one. But anyways, so this is the packaging. Very cute. Now, this doll, Piper Peach, really reminds and it's not just me a lot of people were saying this when we saw the, like the dolls teased that she looks a lot like um georgia peach if you can see it now like the color scheme the kind of feel now this is sabrina st Clair's. this is her second outfit jacket and then this is georgia peach's top and skirt but uh reminds me a lot of like this outfit kind of it's not exact but you can see with like the pearls too like there's pearls going on and then the jacket sabrina st Clair's. now the variation of georgia that i have has red lips but the original one is more of a softer pink so anyways i just thought that was cool i thought i was going to show that i'm sure other people have made the comparison before like i said when this um, teaser popped up, everybody had said the same thing. Like, we were all thinking the same thing. So, yeah, anyways, let's just unbox her. It says, Piper Peach Power, changing people's emotions when she blows a scented kiss. Num Nom is Swirly Boo. Okay, so her Num Nom is Swirly Boo. Uh, this just says all the ingredients. 
and MGA stuff, what it comes with. I am going to keep this because this is cute. I like that you can take her out without destroying the packaging. So that's nice. So you can put like accessories and stuff in this later if you wanted to and store this. Okay, so I've purposely not been smelling because I want to save this moment for on camera and give my original reaction. So let's just see. Um... Maybe they're talking about the lip gloss being scented? Unless my nose is broken, I don't smell anything. <laughs> I smell faintly, very, very faintly. Now we're not talking about strawberry shortcake scent or anything like that, anything close. Or um, if you're familiar with uh, scent stars, they had a strong smell too. No, it's very, very faint. But we'll see with this smell. If I can smell this and not smell that, then there's an issue. But uh, yeah, so very cute though. Look at her face. Very, very pretty. I love this shade of um, peach on her. Very nice. It really complements her skin tone very nicely. And she's got like very slight green eyes as you can see. I love the eyes, they're so cute. The hair color is very nice too. Um, it's basically all one color but I feel like I can see a little bit of different colors now the rooting here's the rooting pattern it's not like super thick but I'd say it's rooted pretty nicely I don't really see any visible bald spots uh, it's not too bad it's really not that bad she's rooted pretty thickly uh, the only thing is there's like weird clumps of hair gel I definitely want to get this hair gel out <laughs> it's kind of just clumped weird I don't really find it styled very nicely. I love the hairband though. It is sewn with thread in there, so you can take that out if you want to, take off the hairband, but you could also leave it on to display like this. Of course, if you have a kid, you probably want to take it out so they can just change things around, change things up if they want to. Uh, yeah, uh, this, so this is kind of, would this be considered flocked? I think this is considered flocked. Uh, but it's fuzzy anyways. Now, oh, okay, so this is like LOL. Where in the back, I'll show you. In the back, it's, you know, kind of just hanging there. Another comparison is also the, uh, the Na 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 Surprise. They do this as well. There is little holes that could go through this loop to keep it closed better, but I don't really find it stays. Okay, no, that's pretty good. So this is the back. The only thing is this looks a little bit weird, but I don't mind that, honestly. I really don't. It's kind of nice that it's easy to get off, too. It's nice for kids because it's, you know, not as hard challenging to get off. So this is her outfit just off like this. It's all one piece, as you can see, and it's got the little loops and the little pegs here to kind of keep it on, but it also stays on because of her um, arms. Now the articulation, okay. Very basic articulation here, of course. She can sit down, but sit down like this. Okay, no, there's no tilt going on. Oh, there's not even a swivel. Unless I got a weird one, but I don't think so. There's, there's no kind of swivel going on. <laughs> She's gotta look like this. <laughs> Who's that? I'm being silly. Anyways, so that's interesting. Very, very, very basic articulation here. Uh, she is a cute doll, though. I'd say this doll is... Would be... I want to see what they say it's for, actually. What age they say it's for. Because I would say it's not for children under three, so it's four plus. I was going to say, this definitely seems like a younger kids kind of toy, but then I was thinking of the lip gloss. I was like, uh, no, that's not really for younger kids, honestly. Uh, makeup play. But I definitely wouldn't recommend lip gloss for younger children. They'll just eat it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, it's kind of funny how this, this toy is geared towards younger kids. It seems like, at least with the doll itself. But then you have this aspect, that, which isn't really for younger kids. What does it say on it? Oh, it does have an expiry date. Most makeup usually does. So this is, expires July 2026. And then we've got these. Uh, this is the coloring right here. And then this is the scent. It comes in these two cute little bottles. You can't really see it that well. Come on now, focus. 
There we go. They're very cute. They're like these little juice jugs. And oh, this one looks like little boba pearls in it. That's adorable. So, uh, and of course it's got the information, anything like makeup related, it needs all the information on here. So it says colorant and perfume. And you also have the instructions. Let me show this little thing close up. And the ingredients is in this little pamphlet right here. They have to do that. Uh, this is so cute. Little like peach yogurt almost, dessert. Very cute. It's just a solid plastic. Okay, and then you have this little spoon to mix. I think we're going to be mixing stuff. Oh, can she stand on her own? I was actually wondering that. Let me show you her shoes yet. Sorry, I'm <laughs> getting carried away. So the shoes are kind of rubbery. It's pretty solid at the bottom, but it's pretty rubbery at the top. Here are her feet. So she does not stand on her own, I wouldn't say at least. I figured something out. I think if you puff her head, and then smell. I smell it a bit better, but it's still pretty faint. And I also don't, kind of don't want to ruin her head because <laughs> it's not super soft either. Okay, cool. So let's see this gimmick now. Oh, people were wondering about the bubble gum. If the bubble gum is not removable, if it is or not, it says right here. So the bubble gum on the bubble princess is not removable. So it comes with one doll, one headpiece accessory. You got one outfit, one pair of shoes, one lip balm pet companion, one hairbrush. Oh, I didn't show the hairbrush. Whoops, where'd it go? Oh, I'm sitting on it. <laughs> That's hilarious. She does come with a hairbrush. Sorry, I was sitting on it, so I forgot about it. Uh, very cute. It's like a little ice cream almost, or cupcake. One hairbrush, one bottle of perfume, one bottle of liquid colorant, one stirring spoon, so the stirring spoon is with the instructions, and then one container. What? Where's the container? J? Container? Okay, they're, t they're talking about this. This is the container. Okay, so that's, that's cool that you can like store her in there and stuff. I like when they don't like destroy the packaging trying to get her out. That's nice. Okay, color transfer may occur, so be careful with that. So I think it's just very basic, like you add the colorant, you uh, peel off, there's like a protector peel. If you were wondering, there's a protector peel because it was kind of open in the package, but there's a seal right here, so it's all good. Oh, scented liquid first, and then the colorant over here, and then stir it around, and then put it on your lips. So very basic, like very simple, um, pretty much what you'd think it would be from what I'm seeing here, I'm gonna wash this real quick just because it's going to be stirring stuff to go on my lips. So better safe than sore. Okay, there was a little bit of dirt and debris, but I got it all off. It's nice and washed, which was, that was in the instructions. So it smells like nothing at first. So we're going to see what happens once we add the scent, which is the first step. So we're going to put, it said two to three, I believe, one two and sorry my hands in the way three so we've got three little drops there now we're going to stir i believe you stir all of it i don't think it's just sitting on top from what i can tell at least you gotta stir all of it it's not bad but i'm not a fan of it you know there's much better peach smells that i've smelt i'm not uh, i'm gonna be perfectly honest and give my point of view, I am a little disappointed if I'm being honest because this is a scent gimmick and so far uh, the scent isn't that appealing and it's not potent I don't find. And now I could add more scent, which I might because I want to so I feel like it. It says two to three though so I feel like two to three you should have a good amount of scent. So two to three of this. One two and three. So I'm going to combine it with how the instructions say and then I'm going to do it how I want it. Okay, so this is the color that we got so far. This is with three drops. Now I am going to take a little bit and see on my arm if there's any color, which I didn't think there was going to be because this is for kids. So I didn't really think that any color was gonna go through. Please excuse. I am not doing a close-up because, you know, actually, 
please don't mind don't look too close to the other things just my lips so i don't i think this is my natural lip color uh not super glossy it's it's okay it's a nice hydrating lip gloss it's whatever definitely not the lip gloss i use this isn't really lip gloss this is lip balm this is lip balm now the ones look like actual lip gloss they're coming out with the little mini yumi lands or yummy lands sorry i keep calling it yumi lands but um yeah those are i actually really don't like this <laughs> It feels weird on my lips and like like I wear lip gloss all the time so I I like am used to wearing lip gloss right and it's not that this feels sticky this just doesn't feel I don't know it almost burns <laughs> it doesn't really burn but I'm just saying like it's definitely not the most lip comfortable thing I've ever worn like it's nice and hydrating but it just like it's nothing special it feels like play makeup, which is what it is, you know, it's what it is. But yeah, just, I definitely wouldn't buy this doll for the gimmick. Me personally, definitely not. I was buying the doll for the doll, but it's fun to try out the gimmick, right? So this is with, I think I added three more. I really doubt any color will come through again, but we'll just see, nope. So the coloring is just superficial. It's just to show in here. I'm going to rate the gimmick a 3 out of 10. I'll be perfectly honest with you and I feel like I'm being generous with that in my own opinion. Um, in my own mind that's me being generous uh, per my standards because she's not, she's really not scented in my opinion. Like I don't know if it's just me or if it's just the doll I have. I really don't, I just smell plastic. Like, I really don't smell anything with the doll, and it says she's, I'm scented. Like, it says it on here, I'm scented. So that's a little bit disappointing. Also, this lip gloss feels weird on my skin. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like this lip gloss. Like, it doesn't feel, not that it feels weird. Like, it's not uncomfortable, but my skin's already red. Like, oh, but, um, I have really sensitive skin. I don't know if you can already tell. I have sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, just be wary of this product because I can already see my skin turn, starting to turn red a little bit. Um, and it's like kind of getting agitated a little bit. Like I feel like kind of getting itchy. So if you have sensitive skin, don't test it on your arm. Lips might be okay. That might be okay. I'm, I'm doing all right, so. But to each their own, right? And they have all the ingredients in here. So if you need to, um, read any ingredients because some people are allergic to skin care ingredients and stuff beauty ingredients It's a thing. I am allergic to a very long word that's in a lot of soaps So I'm used to carrying soaps around with me all the time. That's a whole other story. Oh, this is kind of cute though It's cute. It's cute, but Yeah, the gimmick is a no-go for me personally. I'm actually pretty disappointed because I was hoping that they'd be like scented like strawberry shortcake kind of scented, you know? Like the old school strawberry shortcake. I still have the DVDs and they still smell like strawberries. That's, that's, that's how scented they were. That's what I was hoping. I really want a doll line to come around and give me that whole scent nostalgia again. That would be great. That would be fantastic. I would love that. Um, we're going to see with the mini dolls. I might just get one now because honestly I'm a little disappointed, but they are cute though. They are cute, but I'm going to get at least one mini doll. I think it's going to be the watermelon one because she's very cute. I also might get the grape one. I don't know. The dolls are cute themselves, so I'll give them that. Like they are cute, but they're not super articulated or anything. They have molded on clothes. Well, kind of molded on clothes. You know what I mean? Like it's not fabric. Their hair is good. It's, it's a good quality. It's not super soft or anything, but it's a good quality hair, so I'll give them that. But as per gimmick and just overall value, um, how much did I pay for her? I paid $36 Canadian. I'm not sure if this is going to be the retail price because her price keeps going up on Amazon. She's $38 um, last time I checked. Uh, the other dolls were, were originally $32 their listing. Um, she wasn't, but the other dolls were $32. So I'm not sure what their retail, overall retail value will be for. I don't know. She's a cute doll though and she's kind of like bigger. I'll do size comparison. This is a Rainbow High. 
this is a Yumi land. So they're actually not as tall. They're just kind of like bigger overall. She's so cute though. She is really cute. Like I really can't complain. She'll be great for um, display. But for play aspect, I wouldn't say there's a whole lot. Or even like collectors, sometimes they do like play aspects too, like scene setups and stuff like that. I wouldn't see a whole lot of playability with her. She can't even move her head. Also, another thing I want to add, my scent star doll. This is a scent star. This is Trisha. Still like reeks, reeks in a good way of, of bubble gum. And it's been, oh, I can't remember when this came out. I think early 2000s, I think 2004, 2005, something like that. Still smells like bubble gum to this day. Of course she was in a bottle, but like she still smells like bubble gum. This is the kind of scent I want for a doll. I feel like she's mainly gimmick, but she is so cute. So I can't complain. I am happy to add her in my collection. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and subscribing if you aren't already. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you again next time. Bye!